Welcome, Army Recognition is here at Twickenham Stadium to cover IAV 2018, the International Armored Vehicles Exhibition and Conference. Today I'd like to introduce you to the Bushmaster MR6. This vehicle is a new capability based on a proven pedigree. Bushmaster today, as the MR6, is introducing a new hull, new driveline components and new, and new features to provide more protection, enhanced mobility and greater capacity in terms of payload and internal volume. This vehicle is introducing a new, more powerful engine introducing new transmission options and is adding active uh, ABS braking, electronic brake distribution for greater safety. It's offering improved central tyre inflation systems and 1.5 metre deep forwarding option for enhanced off-road mobility. In terms of protection, this vehicle has an enviable record of blast protection and is now in service with eight countries with over 1,150 vehicles manufactured. The new Bushmaster MR6 provides enhanced protection over the earlier vehicles. It offers uh, a 2 plus 10 seat APC capacity because we've increased the size of the vehicle's interior hull and we've also added new front crew doors. And what we're also developing and, and bringing into the Bushmaster MR6 is a C4i system based on the generic vehicle architecture standard to rationalise C4i systems and optimise their performance inside the vehicle. MR6 is the next evolution of Bushmaster. It provides you that new capability based on the proven pedigree of over 1,100 vehicles in operational service. Today, uh, Nimmer Automotive is here at the International Armoured Vehicle Conference uh, here in London. Uh, this is the second year in a row that Nimmer is the lead partner for the uh, Armoured Vehicle Conferences held by IQ Defence. Uh, today we have our uh, Nimmer RIV platform here uh, on display. RIV is our rapid intervention vehicle. It's a four-ton special operations vehicle, a 300 horsepower engine, uh, designed for rapid insertion and a CH-47 transportability. Uh, the vehicle can be configured with different options, including add-on armor options depending on customer requirements and of course a wide array of systems, equipment uh, and weapons fit. Uh, we see a growing demand for these type of platforms uh, within uh, uh, both uh, the Middle East as well as within the uh, Eastern European market. We're kind countries look to replace legacy systems that were typically based on uh, commercial chassis with a more military bespoke uh, platform. Nimmer at these conferences finds uh, it's a very important forum in which to engage uh, with end users and uh, industry leaders and partners. Uh, it gives us a good insight into future procurement programs uh, and into the requirements that uh, many of uh, the end users have uh, in various regions around the world. What we're showing here today is a new range of high noise headsets. These are uh, vehicle crew headsets. This is RA4000 Magna. Uh, it's designed to give a vehicle crew member uh, hearing protection so that they, the hearing is not damaged uh, due to the high noise within the vehicle. Typically this is going to be um, 110, 120 dBs. This headset protects you by uh, giving you 37 dBs of protection to bring it down to a safe level. So you have um, safe hearing, but also good communications, good intelligibility in that type of environment. 
So the important things to remember are things like the, the weight of the headsets, the uh, feature set, and what we've got in this device is some advanced electronics uh, which are giving you digital active noise reduction. That gives a superior hearing protection of 37 dBs. We have microphones on the outside, so that gives you situation awareness. You can hear what's going on around you without having to lift off, which would defeat the uh, protection level. Uh, and you can control the volume without having to reach the crew box. So it's a very ergonomic design. Uh, the other huge benefit of this, in, in addition to the military robustness of the design, because you'd expect a, a product in the military to be uh, robust, this is also waterproof, so you're immersible to one metre, because um, you can operate with the tank with the head out in rain, in snow, in ice, and this product is designed to cope with that. So we have some superb uh, technology here. It's battery operated, there's one standard AA inside here which will power the unit for uh, 70 hours, uh, but it'll also connect to intercoms, radios, smartphones to give you good communications and comfort. Hi, I'm Richard Glazebrook, I'm Managing Director of Tyron Runflat and uh, we're a British company that have invented a new form of rubber runflat and the unique feature is the fact that it's a modular system. What this means is, is that people can easily change the tyres without any special machines. What is a runflat, people may ask? Well, a runflat is designed that in the event of a tyre being shot out, the, where the tyre goes flat, instead of going completely flat, it falls onto the run flat and gives you the capability of travelling up to 100 kilometres with two or more tyres taken out. Uh, we have, a, as I was saying earlier, we have a full range and we have a, at the back here a range of different sizes from Toyota Land Cruisers to the full 8x8 fighting vehicles. Euro Satori is coming up in June and it, at that exhibition we'll be launching the first ever rubber run flat with a carbon fibre insert. What this means is, is that we're going to be able to halve the unsprung weight of a run flat. This is substantial improvement to run flat technology because not only can we give the performance but, but by saving as much as 400 kilos on an 8x8 vehicle it's a significant uh, improvement and development. So come and see us at Euro Satori. What we're introducing here is the system integrated on the Merkava Mark IV. You could see here two radar antennas out of four that provides a 360 degree coverage and one out of two countermeasures that provide protection against all RPGs and anti-tech guided missiles. The system has 360 degree coverage including uh, high elevation. Uh, we already, since uh, 2010, we have supplied uh, three complete brigades uh, to the Israeli Defense Forces. Right now the system is integrated on uh, Merkava Mark IV and the uh, Namer Infantry Fighting Vehicle as on the way to be installed on Merkava Mark III as well. You could see here two uh, images of the system integrated on the upper image on the Namer infantry fighting vehicle and on the uh, uh, below image you could see the system integrated on the US uh, Army uh, Striker. We have been tested on the US uh, Striker uh, twice in the past on, in 2006 and uh, 2010 and uh, we've been successful since uh, 2000, the beginning of uh, 2017 the system has been integrated on, Merkav on uh, Abrams M1A1 and M1A2, as you can see in these uh, images, uh, fully tested in, uh, I would say, winter uh, temperatures uh, up to uh, minus uh, 24, uh, 25, and in the lower image, uh, temperatures uh, up to plus uh, 50. The system was uh, uh, tested against the most uh, challenging uh, threats in the most uh, challenging uh, scenarios which led to the U.S. Army decision uh, to buy uh, the first uh, brigade set of uh, trophy system to the Abram, uh, Abrams uh, tanks.